astronomers do a whole range of things having to do with uh, research in astronomy, um, teaching astronomy, and also helping others do astronomy and uh, mentoring students and uh, those kinds of things. But I think the most important thing is uh, looking into the universe and wondering exactly what's out there and, and the best ways in which we can reveal what's out there. Um, uh, the questions that come to mind are things like where did the, the, the Earth come from? Where did the Sun come from? Where did the, the galaxy that we live in come from? And not just how long they, these things took to form, but uh, what order did they form in? And the, the processes that took place when those things happened. Those are the kinds of things that astronomers are interested in. It all has to do with the idea of origins. Where did things actually originate from? And that's the uh, sort of the focus of much of the work. A lot of the times uh, I think about problems in astronomy and how best to address them. And it's always an interesting and, and important process when you think about a particular question and you ask, well, how do I attack this question? What's the best way to approach the question? What kinds of observations do I need to answer that question? Um, what kind of analysis and, and um, interpretation methods do we need to answer the question? Those are the kinds of uh, things that, that we usually do as astronomers. Um, and then, of course, at the same time, we're interested in helping students and uh, our collaborators, people we work with, do, do their research. And so we think of ways that we can help them, the students and collaborators, to study the kinds of things they're interested in. My field of research is mostly having to do with origins. Where did the Milky Way galaxy come from? Um, what I'm interested in is studying star clusters, individual stars in the Milky Way galaxy, and trying to understand what the galaxy is doing based on those stars. Our knowledge of stars is actually really quite good, uh, and so we can for example, figure out how old the star is, what the star is made of, the motion of the star, its velocity, uh, as we say. So you can use those components of the star's properties to understand what the galaxy is doing on the larger and broader scale. And then you can then in turn use the, what the galaxy is doing to understand what the group of galaxies is doing, the local group. That's what uh, the Milky Way is a part of. And so you can sort of, sort of work out in scales um, in that way. and infer how the Milky Way local group and the local cluster of galaxies formed. And that's what I usually work on. I'd always been interested in the heavens. I had a telescope when I was uh, uh, in high school. I used to borrow the um, my high school's telescope and uh, go out uh, you know, in the evenings and look at the moon and uh, look at some of the star clusters that could, I could easily uh, identify and locate with a telescope. And I always wanted to, you know, I always thought about being an astronomer. I never thought I could be an astronomer, though, as a profession. I always thought, well, it's an interesting hobby, but I never really thought about it as a profession. And then one, one night I was just thinking more about it and doing some more research about it and uh, contacting some universities about possible careers in astronomy and I came to realize that it is possible to actually work it as an astronomer, to do what I love to do as a hobby and to get paid for it. And I thought, wow, that's a really, really nice option. Uh, and so that's the direction that I went and then ever since I was in high school I can remember the day that I decided to be an astronomer and uh, ever since that day that's been my ultimate you know my ultimate goal I went to college with that you know in mind of course after that was grad school and, and postdocs and such I knew I always wanted to be an astronomer and, and uh, you know thankfully I, I'm there and I've accomplished that particular goal so I'm happy to be here <clears throat> lately I have actually been able to carve out some free time um, uh, my uh, childhood uh, interest has been in model trains, and I've always been in, interested in model railroading and, and, and things like that, and miniatures and, and those kinds of things. And so, I, um, a few years ago, I decided to build my own model train layout, so I did so uh, in, in our uh, guest room in the house. That doesn't leave much room for guests, but uh, <laughs> the layout itself dominates the room. So I've been working on that quite a bit, and uh, that's led to other things like train collecting and things like that. I, like, I enjoy those kinds of things. I've also been interested in models, so I uh, recently have got into, gotten into model rocketry, uh, launching rockets uh, with, with our, our two sons. Um, they really enjoy being a part of that, and of course they both like trains too, so it's, <laughs> a, it's a family affair. We, we do all those things together. Um, so those are the kinds of things that I do when I'm not doing astronomy.